I'm in Sierra de Andujar National Park in Spain and somewhere in this vast rugged landscape is the Iberian lynx. These cats were actually on the brink of extinction but thanks to conservation and rewilding efforts they're making a comeback. My guide Jose Luis is going to take me to the best spots. He knows the lynx like I know my squirrels. He can identify individuals, he knows their core ranges, and of course the lynx have names. I'm going to use a mix of strategies to find the lynx. We're going to go on a safari, and drive around and look for the lynx, and we're also going to be in hides and just hope a lynx appears in front of it. I'm gonna get out of the sun now because I'm getting burnt and I literally can't see. Canon has sent me to the south of Spain to photograph the amazing wildlife with the new EOS R7. I'm so excited to take this new camera to the field and test out its speed and incredible animal eye tracking. Join me as I explore this amazing landscape and photograph some epic wildlife with the EOS R7. My hotel hints at the history of this reserve. Once a heavily hunted area, these mountains have started to slowly shift towards a greater focus in ecotourism. The endangered Iberian lynx is one of the world's most threatened cat species. There was once less than 100 individuals, but now it's estimated there are over a thousand. Andujar Natural Park is over 70,000 hectares and the wildlife can be anywhere. Jose Luis had spotted a lynx far in the distance and we quickly got closer and I get my first glimpse of the Iberian lynx. This gorgeous female is called Magarfa. The lynx here are completely unbothered by the presence of people, but they are secretive and elusive. So spotting a lynx is all about local knowledge and also just luck. Further along the mountain, I met the Spanish Ibex. These charismatic goats provided some great portrait opportunities. My first impressions of the camera is, it feels good. It feels comfortable in the hands. It feels nice. I also really like this. You can quickly go from photo to video. Something I really like about mirrorless systems is the electronic viewfinder. At first it's a bit weird to get used to, but it's actually super useful. For video, sometimes it's too bright, especially here, to see the screen, and I can actually see what I'm recording in the viewfinder. For photos, the electronic viewfinder is great because you can change settings like ISO, shutter speed, or your aperture without actually having to move the camera 
from your face. So for wildlife photography, that's great because wildlife moves quickly. It's unpredictable. So you can respond very quickly and get that photo. I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable with the R7 and today I've headed to a hide. This valley is the territory of a male and female lynx so there is a chance they'll come to the hide to drink from the pond. I'll be in this hide for 10 hours. This is my first time photographing hawfinch and the little punk rockers, crested tits. It's always exciting photographing species for the first time, especially when you get photos you're pleased with. After many hours of waiting, the lynx's dinner arrived. But sadly, the predator did not. I'm currently at the river waiting for otters. It is a beautiful morning and the sounds of the birds is just amazing. Whilst I wait for otters, I thought I'd tell you a few things that I find useful about the camera. I've actually been shooting on the R7 for all my vlogs. I'm shooting on it right now and I've got it here. I'm amazed at how stable it is. I've been walking with it, using it from the car, without a gimbal and it is so stable so that's really useful for me because sometimes I can't reach out for a tripod immediately and I just need to quickly grab the camera and start recording something. I've also set my own settings on the C1, C2 and C3 dials so I can quickly flip between different video settings or photo settings that I've set myself. For example there are different video settings, there's 4K fine, 4K normal, 25 frames a second and 50 frames a second and then there's 4K crop and the 4K crop allows me to get closer and still have 4K which is pretty cool. Okay that's enough for now let's find some more wildlife. I'm just reporting to say I have spotted an otter. Okay let's go. The otter swam towards me and I quickly took my camera and moved around the rock. And I managed these shots in the shade of the rock. In the afternoon, we headed back to where we saw the first lynx. The sun was beaming. And in the distance, as the hot air danced, this impressive mouflon looked over the distance on this rock.
My attention was soon captivated by the bird of prey dancing in the convection currents. As the light lowered, we found these impressive red stags. It's my last day. We've had four lynx sightings, but they've been fleeting glimpses or too far away. I've headed to the top of the mountain to another hide. It's my last chance to get the dream shot of the endangered Iberian lynx. I was amazed that this bird arrived. I've seen a juvenile northern goshawk once before, but it was a privilege to see an adult so close. But then all the birds disappeared. Something bigger had arrived. An eagle? I waited. The dream had arrived. The Iberian lynx that was once almost extinct. This is Pirena, and in less than three minutes, the king of this mountain vanished. It has been an incredible week searching for the Iberian lynx. We've seen so much wildlife from Spanish ibex, the mouflon, and obviously the lynx. Check out the video I did of Canon about the new Canon EOS R7. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my incredible patrons who support my work and I'll see you in the next video.